Hello and welcome to PMG TV. Uh, I'm Chris Barsis and on this episode we're going to take a look at converting a document from Word into pages and some of the things that might go wrong with that and how to fix them. The uh, reason why this uh, showed up on my doorstep is that uh, a couple days back a new client who is a switcher uh, was commenting to me that they really wish they had their Microsoft Word back. And I rebutted with the, well, why don't you use Pages instead? And the answer was that Pages doesn't quite do what they want to do. Uh, they were having some trouble with formatting issues. And uh, I am aware that there are some times when formatting can be a problem between converting to from Word to Pages, but it seems to me about 90% of the time, if the document is built correctly inside Word, it usually transfers over to Pages without a problem. There are a couple of times where I have seen text boxes and stuff like that not work correctly from Word to Pages, but generally speaking, a text document that is pretty straightforward usually converts over without a problem. So uh, I asked her to send me the document, and uh, a little while later she sends me this Word doc right here. Uh, it's a set of notes for uh, the pastor of the church. So when we look at this document inside Word, we see that up here in the header, we have the uh, church logo and a, a line running across here, or, or two rules basically, which divide the two columns that are on this page. And then we see a, uh, a little bit of information down below here uh, that's uh, part of that. And if we take a look inside uh, the um, word here at this document, if you look at headers and footers, you find that it is all part of the, the header section of this document, which makes perfect sense. Uh, if we look a little closer, however, we find that when we select there is actually a couple of extra carriage returns here and then this whole uh, graphical uh, rule and logo here are not actually a part of the header. When we actually go to look at it uh, by looking at uh, format picture and seeing what the text wrap is, you can see that what's actually happening here is that the logo and the rule have been overlaid over the top of the header section. And to compensate for this, there's a couple of carriage returns right above that 30 days uh, that then make this all line up. Now, because this has happened, we're gonna close this out of here. When Pages gets this and converts this, whoosh, Pages does not have a function that allows a graphic to overlay something. You can be in line, you can be behind, but you can't be over the top of something. So what's happened here is that Pages has taken that graphic that was there and the line and pushed it into the back and turned it into a page master. And that's how that ends up on all the additional pages. But of course, what's happened here is obviously in translation, we've had a little slight error in the uh, line, a lineup of this uh, rule, and now the text doesn't work and everything's kind of all messed up. On top of this, you can't actually go into the header here and click on the graphic. It just doesn't work. So there's got to be a way to figure out how to make this work. And so I thought that uh, after fiddling around with it, I thought I would show you guys exactly how you can fix this problem. So if we look at it in uh, pages, we see that we have this header up here and we have the coastline doc uh, graphics and these two rules. And you notice the rules have been uh, misplaced here basically because of the fact that the header is no longer um, functioning the way it does uh, in Word. So what we have to do is we have to get this stuff out of the way here. We need to first off get the header uh, cleared out so that we can then go back and get to these items back here which have been converted into page master uh, objects. So the first thing we're going to do here 
So we're going to get ourselves into the header and we are going to select the text. And I'm just going to cut that text right out of there. Come down one line into the body here. And I'm going to add a character turn. And then I'm just going to paste those back in here as a temporary way to hold on to this information so I don't have to retype it or anything. Now that I'm up here, I've got to get rid of this header so that I can work on that logo problem with the ruled lines underneath it. So the best and easiest way to deal with that is to just go ahead and shut the header off. And now that's out of my way. Now I need to go up into Arrange, Section Masters, and I need to make sure that the Make Master Objects Selectable has been checked. If it has not been checked, click it once, that'll check it. If it is currently checked like it is in my case, just pull out of it and click. What this does is it allows you to click on these objects here and actually select them and do something with them. Now the Coastline Church logo here is perfectly fine. We can leave that alone. It doesn't have any problems. However, these ruled lines right here do. So I'm just going to select both of those and then use my arrow keys to notch those down so they look about right. And I think that's good enough right there. All right, so that sets this up. This now looks correct, and it will then flow through to all other pages. And, you know, just for giggles, if I remember correctly, yep, see, here we go. We've got them on the other page. Everything's fine and dandy. Now what we have to do is we have to put that header back in place, and we're going to do that right there. And as you can see, the header now is floating up above that ruled line. So the solution to this is to just roll that header down. So I'm going to go and start knocking the header, moving it down farther. Okay, 0.75 is not going to work. I'm going to bet 0 0.80 is going to be right about right. Let's see here. No, no, not 0 0.08. 0 0.80. There we go. Oh, so very close. Let's take it to 0.85. And as you can see, now our header is directly underneath the ruled line, which is exactly what we want it to be. We're going to come back into the body, grab the information that's supposed to go into the header, cut it out of the body, get rid of that extra little carriage return, come on up here, and paste it back in. And that's really all there is to it. Now if we go look on the second page, you can see how we have everything lined up. It looks beautiful, and it continues on with its two-column uh, joy. So the document now looks uh, basically back the way it's supposed to, whack, and it behaves the way it's supposed to as well. Now, you may be asked, saying, well, gee, if I had Word, it would have all worked fine. Yes, that's very true. If you had Word, it would have worked all fine. However, the problem isn't actually with pages. The problem is actually with Word and how the document was constructed. It's never a good idea to try and overlay things over the top of other things. You need to put them in line or put them in a uh, master page or something along these lines, which is the way uh, pages and pretty much all other page layout programs work. So if you are developing something in Word, be sure to do it right and don't take a shortcut by just laying stuff over the top of each other to be a huge jumbled mess. And then everybody else won't have the problem. Of course, another uh, solution to this would be to not even bother with the Word doc and instead send a PDF. Uh, obviously, there's a, the problem of editing a PDF, but you would be guaranteed to be exactly the same on all uh, platforms, regardless of whether that's Unix, Linux, PCs, Macs, iPads, Android phones, whatever. So hopefully this shows you a little bit of how to fix this uh, problem if you ever run into it. And uh, hopefully you will uh, learn to uh, enjoy pages as much as I do. As always, you can get a hold of me at the website or you can give me a buzz at any one of the numbers below.